In this lesson, we're going to learn how to differentiate functions using the product rule and the quotient rule. Starting with the product rule, as the name would suggest, this is used for differentiating functions which are products of functions. So it's for y equal to f of x multiplied by g of x, two functions of x. So now if we differentiate y with respect to x, the product rule says that the derivative of y with respect to x is g of x multiplied by f dash of x, the derivative of f of x, plus f of x multiplied by the derivative of g of x. Some people find it helpful to say this as the derivative of the first function multiplied by the second function, plus the derivative of the second function multiplied by the first function. This notation can be a bit confusing, so another notation is to use u and v as the functions f and g. So if we say that u is the first function and v is the second function, then y can be expressed as uv, u times v then dy by dx is v u dash plus u v dash. In example number one, y is expressed as the product of two linear functions. So we can say here that u is 3x take 2 and v is 5x take 7, or that f of x is 3x take 2 and g of x is 5x take 7. Either way, to differentiate y with respect to x, it's the derivative of the first multiplied by the second plus the derivative of the second multiplied by the first. Now, of course, we could expand these brackets, collect like terms and simplify, but we're really interested just in seeing the product rule in action at this stage. So we'll leave that as it is. Using the class pad calculator, you can see I've already entered the function here, so I can differentiate it by interactive calculation diff. OK. And the calculator also simplifies the response. There's another way that I can differentiate on the class pad, and that's using the 2D calc option. So on the left there is the template for differentiating, and I need to input the x I'm differentiating with respect to x, and I need to put the function in here. So I'm going to take it from there, drag it down. Now just be careful if you're using this version because you see that I'm differentiating the whole thing. So even though the function itself has brackets, I also need brackets to show that I'm differentiating the product. I'm not just differentiating the first part. Uh, we still get the same answer with that. In example number two, dy by dx is the derivative of the first function multiplied by the second function plus the derivative of the second function so that's 2x take 2 now be careful here we do need brackets because we're multiplying this derivative by the first function Because I already have a derivative on the screen, I'm just going to change each of these brackets to my new functions. So 2x take 1 and then x squared take 2x plus 1. And again the calculator simplifies by expanding and collecting like terms. second type of function we're differentiating is quotient. So this time y is one function of x 
divided by another function of x. So we've gone straight to the uv notation here, but we've said that u is f of x and v is g of x, two functions of x. Then when we differentiate y with respect to x, it's the second function multiplied by the derivative of the first. Subtract this time the first function multiplied by the derivative of the second all over v squared. So in example number one, we've got two linear functions for u and v, dy by dx, the derivative of the first function multiplied by the second, subtract the derivative of the second multiplied by the first, all over the second function squared. I'm going to input my quotient using the 2D fraction template. So 3x take 5 as the numerator and 5x take 7 as the denominator. Then I'll differentiate this quotient. OK. And you see that the class pad simplifies the numerator and leaves the denominator in its factored form. And in my second quotient rule example, dy by dx is the derivative of the first multiplied by the second. Subtract the derivative of the second, that's 2x, multiplied by the first function, all over x squared plus 3 squared. So now I can edit the quotient from before to 3x x squared plus 3. Done.